Hey, Uncle Sam can't seem to stay out of the news lately, from dirty politicians to people speaking out against their governments all around the world. We'll get into the tea with a new segment we like to call Political Tea with Claudia. All right. Donald Trump recently compared himself to Nelson Mandela in an attempt to defend himself against his upcoming hush money criminal fraud trial in New York. Trump posted, if this partisan hack wants to put me in the clink for speaking openly in obvious truth, I will gladly become a modern day Nelson Mandela. It will be my great honor. Child. Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in prison because he was fighting for everyone to have democracy and to be able to vote. And he's a peaceful man. You are on trial for hush money. You paid a porn star you had raw dog sex with while your wife was pregnant. Y'all are not the same. And what we're not about to do, Trump, unless you play in our faces, I don't know why you're so obsessed with black men. Like, you you have this love-hate thing with black people. Because I remember when you told me specifically, don't waste my time dating black men, and I asked you why. You said, because they don't have any money. So you deem them less than worthy if they don't have money. Seemingly, you're not going to have money much longer either. But to compare yourself to one yourself to one of the greats in history that was known for peace, that was known for inclusion and wanting everyone to vote, while you're sitting out here... Uh, with all these election interference cases is beyond me. Like the fact that you don't see the irony in this is mind blowing. And you want to be president again? And you say Joe Biden is the senile one? You compared yourself to Nelson Mandela while also singing the praises of Adolf Hitler and saying how much you like this guy. You've talked about this. We've heard you. So I would like you to keep legendary black men out of your mouth Shut the hell up when it comes to that. Do not put your name and Nelson Mandela's name in the same sentence unless you're talking about opposite day. It's a slap in the face to this man and his family who selflessly sacrificed mm. a third of over a third of his life in a prison when he could have gotten out if he would just and he didn't. He stood on principle, something you never do, Donald Trump. You used to be cool before you got with the Tea Party, and then you wanted to pander to racists and pretend to be one so you can like get that 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 forgotten people vote. But please um, stop disrespecting uh, black people. On one hand, you you trash them. On the other hand, you want to be like them and comparing yourself and thinking you're gonna get the black vote because you think you have an indictment against you makes you more sexy to black people because it does not. Uh, yeah. Once again, I will say in closing, keep Nelson Mandela's name out of your mouth. Fellas, what do you think about this? How ridiculous this is. Donald Trump saying to, to make that comparison. Armand, what do you think? Really quick. I just think that, you know, like you said, the Nelson Mandela piece, that was a very selfless act. Donald Trump is working out of ego and self-righteousness. So it's just not the same Donald Trump. He's a, he's a master of, of manipulator and gaslighter. He's entertaining, but at the same time, it's all about himself. He doesn't care about the people. This is for his ego. So, Donald Trump, I'm not with you on this, my guy. Now, Claudia, I, I I can't add anything more to that. You did an excellent job of highlighting like why he should never, ever, not on our good internet and not on our platform, are we going to ever support anybody talking against a Nobel Peace Prize winner, a fighter against you know apartheid. Uh, you know, someone who spent 40 years, 260 awards in their lifetime, and still spent 27 years in prison. No, sir. No, sir. Not not, not this month. Not the month of April. No, in fact, not any month. No. And his obsession lately with the Black folk. I'm telling you, this man told me to my face not to deal with Black men. So I get really frustrated when I see Black men rallying around this man. I know we give you a hard time, Armand, about the sneakers, but like for me, <laughs> he personally told me this to my face and kind of, to me, he threw away the entire black male race. And although I'm not a black man, I have love for black men. And the fact that he said that so casually to throw them away, but now he's using black people. He's trying to manipulate black men and some, they uh -huh. say, what a percentage uh -huh. are starting to buy into it. But uh, no. he, he would never be champion Nelson Mandela for any other reason or anything else. So he he's trying to pander and he's trying to manipulate people right now. And he's being very selfish in doing it. So, yeah, it's definitely a, it's a nasty spirit that he's doing right. Nasty yeah. work, Donald. Hey, very nasty. On, come on over to the right side. Come on. Very nasty. On I mean, I can tell a gas fighter when I see it. You know what I mean? And he, you're uh -huh. using this to, to your benefit right now. And it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good either. 
Oh, there is hope in the world. <laughs> We're getting through.